booster rocket carrying a Soyuz spacecraft with a Russian and a U.S. astronaut on board has failed mid-air on its way to the International Space Station, forcing the crew to make an emergency landing. With me now in the studio to discuss this is our space and technology correspondent, Jeremy Wilkes. Uh, Jeremy, what do we know about this? Well, what do we know is this should have been a routine flight. Uh, it should have been two astronauts, Alexei Ovchinian and Nick Haig, one from NASA, one from Roscosmos, going to space. They launched this morning from Baikonur in Kazakhstan and about two minutes into flight, things started to go a little bit wrong. We've, we've got a little bit of footage we can show you. So for, from the launch, everything seems to be fine. And then when, from the image that you see inside, the two astronauts appear to be shaken. From the image you see outside, you appear to see more debris than you would normally expect coming off. It's actually around two minutes in. It's about the moment you have a uh, separation normally. And um, the, the astronauts apparently uh, reported experiencing weightlessness when they should be at that point in the flight feeling a huge thrust from the rocket pushing them up into space. So uh, we just saw those dramatic, we can see there these uh, dramatic pictures there as the uh, astronauts went through this experience, but, but what terrifying. exactly would they have gone through physically? Yes, well, of course, they train for this. They do know what they're supposed to do, but there's training and then there's, there's, there's the reality. Um, so what would have happened, it's really quite an automatic uh, procedure. They, these uh, these um, spacecraft are automatic, um, very reliable systems in that sense, but they would have gone through something probably pretty hellish because a descent in a Soyuz already is awful. You're pulling several G, even when you're doing a normal landing, it's like having a car crash when you, when you hit, the, hit the bottom. Um, the last time this happened in 1975, the astronauts reported uh, having 21 G, so that could do serious damage to your internal organs during that time. We don't know what's happened to them. What we've just heard is that the rescuers have got to them. They landed downrange in Kazakhstan, so that, that shows you they didn't really get very far before they had to abort. Um, so we'll start to hear their story but of course they have to be very careful when they're opening the capsule, make sure that they're, they're kind of safe inside, if they, they might have some broken ribs, something like that. It really is that kind of impact we're talking about. OK, well, we don't know what happened. We should uh, repeat that. But uh, what does this mean for the uh, International Space Station? Well, it's a significant blow. Remember a few weeks ago we had the leak on the ISS, mm -hmm. and that was, you know, a big scandal. What's happened here? Is it, you know, a, a question of uh, failing um, standards in the Russian space industry? You know, a country that prides itself on its space history quite rightly and this is this is another blow for them to have something like that like this happen is rare as well and for the ISS of course there's three, three people on board uh, ESA astronaut Alex Gerst is the commander at the moment we've got a, a, an American and a Russian astronaut there as well they're expecting their two comrades to come and join them uh, where are we now well we have to now look ahead to building that the next Soyuz on the production line who is going to fly on it um, are the astronauts that were standbys for these two are they going to be ready in time in terms of supplies and everything, the ISS is fine, but it certainly puts another question mark over the, the future, certainly looking 10 years ahead, five years ahead, how can the ISS survive, especially if we've got these kind of quality control problems, apparently, that could, in this case, could have put astronauts' lives in danger, although we stress, from what we can tell, they seem to be okay. Indeed, so let's hope this story does end well, and they are indeed well, as you say, Jeremy Works, thanks for joining us on set to discuss that failure of that mission.